Hello, I'm going to talk about battle ropes. Now, every time I see someone doing battle ropes in the gym, they only do one thing, and it's this. And you've probably seen videos of people doing battle ropes doing this. And to be honest, that is not sustainable for quite a long time. And they usually recommend 10 to 30 seconds of this intense battle roll. But there's just more than one speed when it comes to battle ropes. Right, so when I do battle ropes, I never do this because I don't really feel the burn. I don't just get most of my workout doing this. It's just like you going on a treadmill and sending it to level 20 and just running. It's not sustainable. So what I do is I double it. So I try to aim for a minute or more on the battle rope. And how do I do that? I just find my own pace. So I just grab the battle rope, as you can see in the footage here. I go at my own pace. You don't have to go blitzing fast every time you're, you're holding on to the battle rope and showing off in front of everyone. No, you don't have to. And you can see me doing the variations. And if I get tired, I switch to one arm or the other arm. Or I just stop and I just sit there, collect my breath, and then I continue on. The whole point of the battle rope is to keep going. It's just like drumming. You find your own rhythm. And you just keep going, all right? Feel it. And you're going to feel it in your whole body every time you whip down. Whip. You whip down. It's like holding on. It's like shaking hands with a giant octopus for me, okay? And the longer I hold on to the, the octopus, the more I do it, the more fun it feels, all right? So, I hope this tip helps. And if you want personal training with me online, follow me on Instagram. Message me there. And let's talk, okay? Take care. Bye.